a good view of the uh, two-ton S5 truss affixed to the end of Canadarm2. Pilot Charlie Hobaugh maneuvering uh, this new component for the International Space Station to the pre-installed position at the end of the starboard truss se section of the International Complex. This view uh, showing the S5 truss moving into position in the pre-installed position uh, to be uh, aligned precisely and then mated to the end of the S4 truss. You can see at the upper right-hand portion of your screen uh, the, one of the beta gimbal assemblies. Uh, this essentially the canister uh, that uh, helped deploy the solar arrays for the S4 truss back on the STS-117 mission back in June. This is Mission Control Houston. The outer thermal hatch is open. The uh, start of today's spacewalk officially clocked at 11.28 a.m. Central Time as Endeavour and the International Space Station cross the equator over the Pacific Ocean, passing from northwest to southeast uh, just off the northern coast of Australia. With the uh, Thermal cover open and the hatch now opened. Uh, the first uh, spacewalker out will be Rick Mastracchio. He will uh, leave the airlock and attach a, uh, an 85 foot long safety tether uh, to the airlock handrail, locking the hook and uh, preparing uh, to be joined outside by Dave Williams, who is about to become the uh, third Canadian to walk in space, uh, joining Chris Hadfield and Steve McLean. Visors as required. It's dark. I have a go for through lock egress and Houston. If you can get step thirteen. Okay, we'll uh, put step thirteen in work. And Tracy, over to you. Thanks, Scott. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Tracy. Doing great. Okay, I see you Rick coming out the airlock. I heard that uh, the hooks were locked and the wheels are unlocked. You got the thermal hatch cover open. Coming out, Rick, your first uh, safety tethers going to Hamwell 0550. Copy. Tracy Caldwell acting as the spacewalk choreographer today following uh, the suit-up uh, activities uh, that were overseen by Commander Scott Kelly. Okie dokie. Sneak over here. Yeah. Forward side. Can you get my left fleece tether on here? Our first helmet camera view, this uh, coming from the uh, helmet uh, camera affixed uh, to Rick Mastracchio as he moves uh, toward the vicinity of the uh, S-4 truss uh, to begin uh, the uh, removal of launch locks along with Dave Williams. Two hundred fourteen miles below the Pacific Ocean, as Mastracchio and Williams uh, set up shop along the uh, starboard truss segment of the International Space Station. Right. Good. Thanks very much. 
you did, you could just hang out there and wait for Rick. Mistracchio on the left, Dave Williams on the right, as they uh, assess uh, the position of soft capture pins. You got it. With the socket. At the end of the S4 truss, to which S5 will be uh, attached a short time from now. Hey, for uh, Rick and Dave, just let me know when you're ready to move in. We're all set to go on this end, and the we'll first move will just be to the launch lock removal position. Okay, copy that, Squirt. Mr. Accio has uh, verified uh, the correct uh, configuration for the uh, portable foot restraint uh, that has been uh, set up at the end of the S-4 truss. Uh, he and Dave Williams uh, will soon be in a position uh, to provide uh, what is known as GCA, or Guided Control Assist, for uh, pilot Charlie Hobaugh as Hobaugh operates the Canadarm2 to slowly maneuver the S-5 truss in for its alignment and a soft capture to the end of the S-4 truss attachment. Over to Scorch for the DCA. Okay. Warp our linkages, I think all look okay. Yeah. And uh, looking at the FSU RTAS housing clearance, that looks nominal, Scorch, so. Yeah, it looks like I got good four bar linkage clearance down here, so. Dave, if you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. We could have uh, Scorch move into the launch lock removal position. Okay, and uh, my safety tether is clear, my hands are clear. Rick, if you're ready, here we go. Yep. Hobaw now will slowly maneuver S5 uh, to a closer uh, position to where Mastracchio and Williams are so that they can begin to use pistol grip tools to remove a series of four launch locks around uh, the uh, corners of the boxy uh, S5 truss segment. The S5 will be uh, positioned now to uh, within 6 to 12 inches away from the S4 uh, capture latch assembly. One thing, there is a, a cable, looks like a VGA cable, that is sticking up. I don't know if you can see it on my helmet cam trace. Is it going to be a factor or not, Rick? You are going to you are going to hit that cable, but I'm hoping that it'll push the cable below it. Well, I can't reach it. But you see the oh, yeah. bar linkage, see the thick power cable? Yeah, I see it. SSU clearance with the RTAS looks nominal. Yeah, clearance looks here. For the four bar linkage, it's good. You're definitely going to hit that cable, though, Scorch. The cable's going to stick up about four inches into the envelope. You think we're going to hit it? Oh, you're definitely going to hit it. It's just a question of what happens if it pushes it out of the way. Okay, we're good to continue then? I would say you so. Okay. And Scorch Corner 2, you're good to continue. You're now getting handrail overlap with the SSU clearance nominal. And thank you. As you make contact with that cable, Scorch, as I see how it moves, I'll ask you to stop if I have to, if necessary. Now I'll have to go push it, maybe. Okay, it's a cable in front of the four-bar linkage, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's a cable, actually, it's the nadir of the four-bar linkage, it's the power cable, those are the VGA, it looks like. Okay, I'm going to try to watch it in your helmet, Jim. Yeah, coming in contact with it about two, two inches or so. Okay. Got about 45 centimeters to go. Good plan. Copy that. that. The RTAS is just coming in board of the SSU. Okay, you're contacting the cable now, looks like it's... It might be pushing, I don't know which is moving, the cable or the S5. Looks like you might be stalling out. Now you're still moving. Yeah, I still see motion. Cable is going below it, but it looks like it's uh, slowing you down a little bit. Looks like it's working OK 